Hey everyone, my name is Ravi Schneier and I'm from C17 at the Kill Hall at SMU. And today we are going to learn about how to create a self-destruct sequence by activating a switch in Kismet. Uh, just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, let me show you an example of what I'm attempting to do today. Um, as soon as I click this switch, a countdown begins, and you can actually see the countdown 3, 2, 1. Now, all that can be done in Kismet, so let me get down to showing you how. Um, the first thing first, we add something that looks like a switch. I'm going to use that particular static mesh. So I select it, um, right click, and go to add static mesh. Uh, let's turn this around a little bit, make it look like the switch, um, now a little bit, and yeah, that seems fine. Now we're going to add two things uh, that are going to help us in um, making this entire thing believable. Um, first thing we're going to add is a trigger, so we right click, go to add actor and add a trigger. We're going to add a trigger because the static mesh by itself cannot be used we use a trigger to make it look like it can be used so we add a trigger first and you notice that this thing is a little too big so we're going to reduce its size right click on it go to trigger properties and on display under draw scale bring it down to like i like 0.25 it's decently small enough um let's go in there and yeah that that looks fine um i think it's a little little too big so i'm gonna scale it down a little bit yeah not that much i think that should do um another thing that we're going to add is an ambient sound node uh so that uh, when the countdown starts the sound is only coming from the switch and it's not coming from the entire uh, room so click on an ambient sound thing and as you can see it's big again so we do the same thing the ambient sound properties and on the draw scale we go to 0.25 and yeah that looks about as small as we would want to go um place one on top of the other like that yeah that seems right okay now let's go down to kismet we open it up and the first thing we're going to do is the only thing we'll really be interacting with is a trigger so we'll go ahead and add that um, since we'll be using this trigger and not just running into it and activating it we go down to new event using trigger now we have to make sure that uh, the trigger is selected for this thing to pop up as soon as you see it new event using trigger we go down to used so this box kind of pops up for us we're going to keep it in a place where somewhere in the middle okay now if you noticed we actually had some text being displayed while the countdown went down so it would be good idea to kind of add that in right now so we have that in we go to new action um, go down to voice announcements and play announcement so that's small announcement box that we have um, let's say See, yeah that seems fine now uh, the next few we, we need a couple more play announcement things to actually show the countdown uh, we can actually control C control V this thing we do that and this could be three um, that three um, two you can see over here I'm changing the announcement text down here control c control v and one and immediately after that there's going to be a big boom and death okay so as we have the setup when the trigger is used we start playing the announcements right so we connect this to that the used into the in node of this particular box and immediately after that thing is the, f the first message is played see so yeah we start the countdown so display this thing three 
and we repeat the process two one and boom now we we would prefer that uh, there's a delay between like this announcement being played to this announcement so we're going to add the delay really easily by right clicking on this black box the receptor and right clicking on it and going down to set active delay let's put this for around two seconds that seems fine and since there is a second delay between each of the countdown um, uh, each second of the countdown we go down and add second each to each of them and immediately after that there's going to be a big boom um, the player is basically going to die so f to modify his health we go down to uh, we right click on kismet go to new action uh, go to actor and modify health once this thing comes up we start modifying its parameters in the properties menu as you can see we have an amount here 500 we put in 500 so that you know um, in case the player has a lot of uh, armor or a lot of a keg of health or everything he's still going to die um, as soon as we do that um, uh, yeah uh, now we want this to affect only the player that touches the switch so we're going to make sure that we only affect one player right so we go into new variable player player you can see uh, by default it harms all players uh, so we go down over here in the properties and as you can see there's this all players checkbox check that off and since the player we want to affect is player zero that's us we um, do that and connect it to the target we have already set an amount so we don't need to set this again and we go in and push that now this should basically um, kill our player if he touches the trigger let's add some sound to this to make things a little more interesting so we go into new action sound play sound um, now that we have that as soon as this thing is used it plays sound um, this sound is basically about um, when the trigger is pressed when the trigger is used so we find a particular sound which kind of um, suits the whole uh, you know clicking it I mean we, we can really select any sound so I'm just I'm just going to uh, like not even bother selecting a good sound just probably uh, I don't know um, yeah sure why not um, that select it in the content browser and over here in play sound click you selected object oh sorry sound key. yeah okay so that it plays that particular sound for that and we want it coming out of only this area so we're going to select that add new object we are using ambient sound and there we go so that's going to be the target so it's only going to play out of this particular part of the whole uh, uh, of the map right now we add another sound for the countdown so we go down and add another play sound um, um, again you know let's probably have that or yeah that go in have that and each out plays sound and as a last one and this again comes out of that and for the, the absolute last one we want a big 
big impact sound so again we go into the new action sound play sound and since we want this coming out from like everywhere um, at least where the player is standing we want it to be right next to the player so um, uh, I'm, not, I'm not really sure which is a good like booming sound let's probably have that yeah sure that and out and play that so that should theoretically work um let's go okay the new one that we have created okay. see ya Yep, well, there was a sound, apparently we got the wrong sound, but it works. So that's basically how you get announcements. You add sounds coming from only one particular area and um, you basically cause damage to any player. Um, thanks for listening.